You may remember from a couple weeks ago, I was really excited about a trip to the Okefenokee Swamp. I'm gonna go kayak with the Gators. I kind of lost track of time. I knew it was coming up, but in my mind, it was still two weeks, three weeks, four weeks away. It was still not imminent. Well, it's so imminent that we're heading down there right now. We'll camp outside of the park uh, this first night on Saturday. Then, and we're meeting up with the rest of the group. About how many people do you think are in the group? Five. About five. That's a lot smaller than last time. It was like yeah. eight to 12. 12 last time. Yeah, we had 12 last time. So it's great to have a smaller group, uh, a good group of people that we know from the Augusta Canoe and Kayak Club. We're going to camp out tonight. Then tomorrow we will have a nice, quote unquote, last breakfast, last meal, so to speak. And then we'll hit the road or hit the canal and get out on the water. I wanted to get something in before it got dark. And uh, we will see you when we get down there. Good morning, Sunday morning. Uh, we made it here about 10.15 last night to Whispering Pines campsite. Dad made a good point that the pines were the only things whispering. The bullfrogs were out. There were a couple trains. <clears throat> There's a highway behind me you can kind of hear going on. So we are getting ready. It is about 7.15. Everybody woke up about 6.45. 7.15, we're going to roll out here in about 30 minutes. Go get, like I said, our last really good breakfast before getting out on the water this morning. So I'll see you in a little bit. This is your first real good look at the main channel in. We're going to take this in uh, for quite a while. There you go. That is our first gator of the trip. What you will notice with these guys, from what I understand, the little bit that I do, the majority of what we're gonna see today is what they're doing there. They're gonna come out, they're gonna sun, because the water is still cool, it's still kinda cool around here, and they might be a little lethargic. And then every now and then, they'll get bothered by us and they'll move right back into the water. And it's definitely a case of, for anybody that's worried about it, if you don't bother them and they have an easy escape, they won't bother us. Hopefully the GoPro sounds okay here, but sometimes you just have to take a little side trip off the main channel and look around. There's a big old white egret out here. I'm gonna see if I can get him with DSLR real quick. Nope, no good. Oh, there you are. 
because you just never know especially just now we had the uh, the motor boat that went through and they're causing a lot of noise so you want to let everything kind of reset a little bit and just take your time and actually enjoy it just figure let them get on down a little ways enjoy the quiet even though i'm talking and breaking that up myself So we're about halfway on today's paddle. We're about five and a half miles in. We stopped at one of my favorite spots, Coffee Bay. One of the cool things that happened here last time was we actually camped here. And let me expose better. And off in the distance out there, my dad and I were actually able to get our kayaks out there and we found a barred owl area. We were actually able to camp all through here. So you can see the water level is considerably higher and with the resident gator over here mr coffee bay himself obviously you wouldn't want to be camping on that bank tonight but it was kind of cool because at night the sun was setting it was really pretty and then you also had at night you could hear the bellowing of the gators just them calling to each other letting each other know this is my area this is my area and it was just this it sounded actually like a couple may have gone over some of the areas really close like a couple people said they thought they heard or felt something brush against their tents that night but coffee bay is about five and a half miles in uh, it took us about two hours to get here we have another five miles to the shelter where we're going to stay at tonight so we're going to take our time go ahead and knock that five miles out <clears throat> set up camp We've made the turn to the Round Top campsite. At this point, there are no motors allowed. There was a sign that said permit only, mo no motors allowed. And you can hear some of the frogs and some of the other critters. Kind of reminded of what Dory from Finding Nemo was always saying, where it was just keep swimming, just keep swimming, but instead it's just keep paddling, just keep paddling, just keep paddling. But thankfully, right up there is Round Top. So finally, finally we're almost there. Camp is pretty much set up. Brought all the boats up, set up a few tents, one more tent to get set up, put up a tarp to kind of keep the keep the wind down a little bit in some areas. 
Still got the access to the nice benches over there. And we are ready for a nice evening and probably an early bedtime. Day one is done. The sun is currently setting almost all the way down and we are getting ready to turn in for the night because when it gets dark, it gets dark. And I'm gonna set up the GoPro. I'm gonna do a little bit of a night lapse to see if I can't see the stars. So I will see y'all in the next video.